So let's have a look at AxeFX3 4 cable method setup. I've got this Serotone Son of Yeti, which is a 6v6 powered 20 watt tube amp with an effects loop. I've got the Axe 3, and I've got my Mesa 2x12, which is loaded with WGS speakers. And over here, I've got my trusty PRS SC245. So, really quickly, let's run over the connections. First thing you want to do is plug in to the instrument input of the Axe FX3. So, that is your guitar going in. Then, we'll come around the back and have a look at some of the connections. We are going from, how am I doing this? So what we're doing is output three, this cable is coming all the way around to the amp input. So what we will do is between the instrument input of the guitar and output three in the grid, we're going to put all our pre-amp effects. In this case, you know, think like phases, drives, EQs, WAS, that kind of thing. And then around the back, what's happening is we're going from the effects send, as you can see here, hopefully, to the preamp output, that is this cable, and that is coming in to input number three on the Axe FX3. Then, in the grid, which I'll show you in a second, we're going to have all our time-based effects, and, you know, delay, reverb, chorus, that kind of stuff. And then finally, we will go from output number one, which is here, once it focuses, output number one is this cable that is going into the effects return of your amp. Hopefully that will focus. Please focus. There we go. I think we can sort of get in there. There we go. Alrighty. And then, of course, that is coming out of the speaker cabinet. Now let's have a quick look at the grid and the layout for all of this because your ins and outs are going to have to match up with the grid. So let me just do this. All right, if that will focus. Hopefully that's given you an idea of what's going on. So we've got input number one. Then we've got a phaser and a drive block. You can put as many effects in here as you like. Then output number three. And then down here, input number three, time-based effects, output number one. So it's really important that the ins and outs on the grid match up with the ins and outs on the physical unit. Once we've got that, we should have a guitar sound out of this. I'll just uh, set the camera up on the tripod and give you a quick demo. All right, here we are. I don't have the cabinet mic, so this is gonna be camera audio, which is probably gonna sound terrible, so don't use this video to judge the actual tones coming out of the Axe FX3 in the amp setup. But essentially what I've got set up on here is four scenes. Scene number one is just totally dry, so everything's bypassed. And what you can do is with output one, output one is essentially now your master volume control. So I will gradually dial that up. Uh, it won't be too loud. Like I said, camera audio again. So uh, don't judge the tone, more so judge the function. So. Scene two, I'm adding reverb. Scene three, I'm adding delay after the uh, preamp, I should say, and a phaser before the preamp. Then scene four, it's just reverb, a drive before the amp, and a delay after the amp. And I've got output three turned all the way up over here as well, which I didn't mention earlier. So if I wanted that louder, I could just use output number one. That is how we can set the Axe FX3 up with an amp that has a series effects loop. Uh, with a parallel effects loop, all you would have to do is turn all of the effects uh, which come after the preamp and before the power amp. So this is going to be after input number three and before input number one. You want to set the effects mix on all of those to 100% so that it is not passing any signal. You want to turn output one all the way up 
and then you want to use the parallel loop control on your app to blend in the amount of affected signal. That would be the only difference there. Uh, otherwise, happy days. I think this app sounds really good and the Axe 3 is uh, bringing out the best in it as well. Like you could throw on parametric EQs and graphic EQs and WAs and stuff like that and really have a lot of fun. And uh, you know, this replaces a giant pedal board and then some, it probably replaces a giant pedal board and a rack. So uh, one three unit black box and an amp and a cabinet and you're pretty much good to pull any tone you want.